Hello all and welcome back to the Global AI Student Conference. Our next session is about machine learning at Green Tech by Nicola Xavez, a Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador. Oh, hi, can you hear me? Yeah. Hi, yes. we can hear okay, you. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, thank you for the invitation to be here. Uh, I'm really excited and let's uh, try to learn more about uh, the importance of AI in the green in tech uh, uh, and topic. So thank you. Um, so I'm gonna share my screen. <laughs> uh, can you see it? Yes, yes, we can. Okay. So thank you so much uh, for this opportunity. My name is Nicolas Chavez. I'm from Mexico, uh, specifically for uh, Mexico City. Uh, so le the, today we are going to talk about uh, the predict uh, solar energy usage with a machine learning uh, designer uh, with Azure, obviously. Uh, this was an amazing project uh, we made in in the student ambassador program, and, and uh, my team uh, was called it uh, Echo Watch, big one with sustainability and was an amazing project. Uh, we only had uh, three months. Uh, to to uh, develop it and of course uh, uh, share with uh, all the, uh, the all the community and at the end of the that three months uh, we we won the the best uh, workshop development project so it was an um, amazing experience and that's uh, that uh, was the reason uh, we have uh, we had decided to share it with uh, all the community right. So uh, for this uh, agenda, uh, we are talking about uh, the project details, uh, the GitHub repo, because it's important to to, uh, to us uh, to share all the progress we did it. And of course, if you have a uh, feedback or maybe you 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 want to collaborate, um, it's open it to do it. And of course, we we are going to do an, a quick review about the the project, right? So. Uh, this is uh, our team, uh, Andrew Chan, uh, he is from Hong Kong, uh, Jigaksa Gupta, uh, she is from India, um, I'm Nicolas Chavez, obviously me, <laughs> I'm from Mexico, Mexico, right? So, first of all, uh, I really uh, like to introduce uh, the topic green tech, um, and of course, uh, for this uh, topic, it's important to to establish uh, some points, uh, like maybe you know we live in a um, in a fastest world. We need to uh, deploy and most of the time uh, consume all the technology, and maybe is fast more than a, our capability to do it. Uh, so most of the time we have uh, maybe two. Uh, we have this situation, right? Uh, you you have one uh, new uh, cell phone for this year, but maybe the next year you you are going to change your phone, and that uh, causes uh, that we have a uh, a lot of waste uh, or maybe trash, a uh, technology trash, and that impact in the carbon footprint that uh, we have in all the world. So it's important. To, to have a good practices in the way that we develop the um, projects or software in general. We need to try to cover all the technology that we all already exist and try to not uh, be that, uh, or try to not be part of the problem. Like maybe your software just uh, works in the latest cell phone right no maybe the best uh, way to to have a uh, good impact in the in the world could be maybe you you can support your software for older devices right um so yeah uh, first uh, we are going to talk about uh, the project details our purpose is uh, when we, de we developed uh, this project was encourage people to use renewable energy in their homes um, because it, it this is an um, uh, most common problem uh, you know you 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 know what is a solar panel and uh, maybe it's important to 
to you. Um, maybe you can find the way that you can put some uh, panel uh, panels uh, in your home or your neighborhood. And with that, you can save money and of course uh, be friendly with the with the world, right? So this is a typical and common problem in, here in Latin America because we have a lot of um, space and most of the time in our uh, countries we have uh, the sol the sun. <laughs> so maybe it could be a uh, good way to improve or uh, consume and of course uh, be friendly with the world. Uh, so how? Uh, through Azure uh, Machine Learning Designer, uh, we decided to implement a project model that allows users to visualize the production of solar energy in their area and thus show the benefits of installing solar panels in their home. Um, and with this, we can have a uh, positive impact, right? So how does it look? Uh, so first of all, uh, when you are uh, working with um, machine learning, you, you need to to have a uh, data set. You need to, to prepare uh, that information. So first of all, uh, the thing we did was a search uh, or looking for some uh, data set uh, with uh, variables like uh, uh, solar uh, solar energy production, maybe the wind, uh, temperature, uh, latitude, altitude, and with that information, we uh, have an app. Uh, and a data set with clean information and of course uh, that information uh, could could be uh, used with a trained model, right? Um, and for what kind of a uh, model we can use it, uh, we, we part of these uh, variables that we know. So it's important to, with these variables, uh, try to answer on a question, right? So linear regression model, it's the best way to do it with this uh, kind of information. So, um, so for the, the data preparation, we use uh, we use the um, how can I um, a Jupyter networks and with pandas. So for that, uh, we have the spreadsheet data, and we decided to to use it with pandas. And with this, you can uh, charge the weather data with, with wind spent, uh, radiation, temperature, and other measurements to have a uh, best uh, prediction. All right. So it's important if you have information, it's very important to have a bunch of information. Uh, so for the data preparation, uh, the first uh, step is importing the data. And with that, uh, we can uh, see this gr important graphic that, uh, for example, for the uh, solar generation in Germany, uh, that that's the data set we can found it and try it to use or try it. Yeah. So as you can see in the maybe in the summer season in Germany, they have a lot of uh, solar solar energy generation, but uh, in in the other way, uh, the wind generation uh, is very low in the summer season. So with that, we can uh, we can think, or oh, maybe in the in the summer season, it's important to have a panels, solar panels, and maybe for the wind season or oh, uh, winter season, sorry, uh, we can. Uh, just uh, be focused in that uh, um, energy generation with, with wind. So with this information, the second step is merge the data frames, all the data frames that we can uh, be able to do it. And with this, you can see um, we, we match the maybe the date with the wind generation and the solar gener uh, gen generation. Uh, and we have an, an, a better data set of information. 
So with all of these uh, steps, the the next step is to introduce it in uh, Azure Machine Learning Designer. We decided to use uh, Azure Machine Learning Designer because it's an option without code and it's very visual for us because I am a chemical engineer, so I don't have the background or maybe not the best background to use uh, maybe AI solutions or AI implementations. So for us, it's very important to, to do it very friendly and maybe the people can use it and of course collaborate it with us. So for all of this, we have the GitHub repo. It's, it's a workshop as you can as you can see. So we have uh, all the information that we try to um, bring it to you and what is our goal with this uh, workshop, right? So you can consult it in this uh, link or if you search in GitHub, uh, Nico McAfee user, it's my user name and you can see the workshop development project green tech uh, repo. Uh, so uh, this is an invitation to all the people to join hands with sustainability and deploy uh, solutions with AI and machine learning to be more friendly with the with the world and try to, um, to you know uh, try to be uh, and a better person with the with your phone print and be conscious about it. So as as you can see, it's important to have the Azure Machine Learning Designer because it allow uh, because that uh, allows uh, us to implement a solution without complex code and the linear regression because it's uh, user satisfaction from the data. Uh, so we are going to check it now. I'm gonna put this. This is the GitHub repo. As you can see, this is the project goal, the pre-learning path. It's important uh, to know a little bit about AI with Azure, Azure Machine Learning Designer. Uh, you, you know, you have all the links here to, to be part of this uh, project. Um, what is our goals for, for the, this uh, workshop? The pre-learning part, uh, it's important for us to, you know, you really need to know about Pandas for data science, introduction for Python, and an Azure account. And with every milestone, we have a specific um, goals. Uh, first of all, it's important to, to know about the uh, Azure machine learning and the regression models. We have all the information here. Uh, in the second milestone, we have an, a briefly introduction to sustainability with machine learning. This is an amazing uh, graphic that was designed by a Microsoft employee, as far as I remember, uh, and we can check the, all the information here. Um, because uh, as you can see, the JAMA explained the sustainability. <laughs> and it was so fun. Uh, so the milestone three, it's about getting the data set. Uh, as I mentioned it before, we search the best data set for uh, this purpose. And we found it in um, German, uh, the government energy sustainable data sets. And we just uh, try to, and we just merge the information and create uh, this uh, project, right? So this is the data processing the, with the pandas, and of course the milestone five uh, create the uh, this model. So uh, at the end of the day, you can uh, have your own um, model in your uh, account, Azure account. And you can test it with your information of your house. And with this, you can see if your house is uh, available to use um, solar energy or wind energy. So, yeah, this is the way that we can uh, collaborate with you and try to invite you to use it, the, um, the renewable energy. 
in your home, right? So for the quick review of the project, uh, first of all, you need to create to have an Azure uh, account like me. <laughs> and of course, you need to create an, a resource. Um, the machine uh, machine learning, oh, let me check. And in the marketplace, you just search Azure Machine Learning. You you put in the create and uh, resource group. You create a new one, like a test AI, no, something like that. Oh, sorry, test uh, AI. The workspace name, um, whatever you want. In the region. It's important that you you put all the regions around all the project in the same like this maybe all our projects we're going to be in east usa and that's that's because this is the nearest uh, region to me so review and create um yeah create and with this uh, as you can see the the portal uh, notifies you that the deployment is in progress and maybe this could take a little minutes a little time so uh, we don't have a problem because we are a uh, wizards and this is the television so we have the magic of the television right so for this part you need to to go to the machine learning uh, portal so this is important in your uh, browser. You can type uh, ML Azure uh, and click on it. Uh, Microsoft Azure Machine Learning Studio. And now you have access to the um, uh, uh, Azure Machine Learning Studio, right? So uh, once you, you have signed it, this is the page you are going to see. Um, it's important in the right part up. Uh, it's important to to check if, if you are in the co in the correct uh, directory, the correct the correct uh, subscription, and of course the correct uh, workspace. Right. So for this uh, occasion, I I have one prepared before the global AI conference workspace. So it's here. And now um, you know it's uh, this uh, interface. It's very friendly with the, with all of us, and especially with the people that we don't have uh, maybe an data science background, right? So for the next step, it's important uh, to to identify this uh, left part. You know the bar, uh, the bar settings, or something like that, and click on the compute and you can create a new one a compute a compute instance and you can put all the name that that you want maybe ai test test uh -huh. and you put it in cpu a standard es11 create and uh, maybe this can take a, um, maybe a few minutes. So for this part, it's okay. And now a computer cluster, uh, you know, the, in the same region, location in the same region, ES, US, in my case, dedicated CPU, a standard, uh -huh, and computer name, um, computer cluster, right? A cluster test. A minimum of number of nodes zero number maximum uh, one and create okay but uh, but this can take um, a little uh, time so for that that reason I had a uh, one created before uh, so yeah as you can see this is uh, the the same uh, properties so that doesn't change and now with all these uh, uh, steps the next step is going to the designer uh, this part with 
uh, no cost and and maybe better uh, use with uh, just the design and now you are going to create an, a new one uh, and a new designer so for that it's important uh, to uh, upload the data set right so uh, before uh, in the repo you can uh, check the information you can check the, the data set uh, before and after the merge so you can uh, download it for here and upload it uh, to your uh, oh, sorry sorry to your um, project so for this part maybe a data set data set a machine learning energy what kind of information a tabular mm -hmm. from local files next Azure blob storage that's okay uploads file I uploaded a file remember this file is in the repo so don't worry about it um, this is an a data preview with all the columns yeah we can check it the the data set if you want it if you want just give me a second ah that's okay so this is the columns the the structure of the data set you know the the time the, well the date the wind generation the solar energy uh, generation um, latitude and um, ve velocity of the wind um, temperature pressure all the these variables that is are going to be important for our project or, or a prediction model sorry so yeah next all the columns are included yeah the quick review and create yeah so it's here the data set ml energy and now it's important to in this part uh, you need to to or you have the opportunity to just uh, select all the all the steps and it's explained it in the repo and you know it this is very visual you just need to connect like legos or something like that and it's very friendly right yeah but uh, you know i don't have the time to do it uh, here but, um, that's that's what is the reason i just uh, designed it before and here is the result you know the data set the selling columns in the data set uh, this is the parameters the what uh, which column, columns uh, are important to select it uh, you know all the information are in the repo uh, you need you need to normalize the data uh, with a uh, transformation method mid max true uh, the same columns that uh, you selected before uh, split the data with 0 0.7 in this part uh, include the linear regression model and and of course uh, connected with the train model with the data set and with this you just need to select uh, what which uh, information are important to you in this moment uh, in this case is solar generation it's it's the is this model uh connect and scholar model you know it's important you you can uh, find all uh, all of these uh, blocks of steps uh, these components in here you just need to type it score model and here is the score model right and you just put it on the on the platform and you just connect it and that's all uh-huh evaluate the, the model and that's all and after uh, you did uh, you, you connected this you need to submit it uh, create a new experiment and click on a name in this case i'm gonna put just uh, numbers uh, display name renewable energy oh well 
we are going to put it the same renewable energy 55 five. <laughs> uh, submit it these are going to take a long time <laughs> Uh, because it uh, for the for this uh, uh, lab or or this designer, it's important to test all uh, the steps. So if they found a problem, uh, it's important to to notice and of course uh, stop all the uh, pipeline and you need to review it. But in this case, uh, this works well. Okay. <laughs> Trust me, <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so once uh, you have uh, submitted uh, this part, and of course, uh, let's check the status for the jobs. So after you submit it, you you are going to to visit. You are going to to do this, right? Uh, first, uh, find the assets part, the jobs part. And as you can see, we have a uh, renewable energy 555 and at this moment are uh, completed. But uh, after you, you have uh, that part. Uh, let me check if we can. This is it. Yeah, it's completed. And now we need to create a real inference pipeline. And uh, once you have created, we are going to have a uh, result similar like this. You need to connect on the service input and with the data set, with the renewable energy, the score model, the service uh, web service output, the evaluate model, and now you just need to uh, submit it and create an uh, after uh, you you have uh, you have uh, submitted. This is uh, the final part. You just need to deploy it to, to click on deploy it. And now you are going to have an, a real time endpoint. And with this, you, you can connect it with API or maybe with another uh, um, service, web service. And you can, um, uh, you just need uh, have, you just need to, to send the information, right? Uh, the, the test information, maybe the, your the, your uh, your own uh, data from your home with the solar uh, energy or wind uh, gener energy generated. So this is the final part, and this is how how does it look the test? And in this part, you just need to change it with your variables with your data. As, as I said it before, and yeah, that's all. All these uh, steps, I'm sorry for the time, but uh, you can check it on the repo. <laughs> that, that is the reason uh, I just uh, did on a quick review. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's all for my part <laughs> at today. Nicholas, for an oh. amazing talk. I think like two points is, first of all, I think it is extremely cool that as a chemical engineer, you're able to use Microsoft Azure to implement these low code solutions. I think like making it like technology, like accessible to everyone is just super awesome. And you're doing great work with it as well. Yeah, uh, it, and Microsoft Student uh, Ambassador Program uh, it was an amazing opportunity to me to improve myself and of course uh, collaborate with uh, students around the world and uh, you know uh, uh, most of the time i i just uh, study chemical but maybe an ai could be an, an another way to improve my skills you definitely should. That sounds like an amazing intersection of skills. And even like another point from your talk is it was super cool to see Nitya Narasimhan's green tech visual as well. Like I remember when she made that a couple of years ago. So seeing it still being super impactful for the green tech community is also very awesome. Thank you so much for the opportunity. And I'm going to be very excited for the next year, maybe and with another project. <laughs> That would be amazing. But before that, we absolutely want you back next year. But we have two questions for you. The first is, how did you first learn about Microsoft Azure Machine Learning Studio? Um, you know, um, I, I, I am a very uh, curious person. <laughs> so one day I just uh, 
is it the machine uh, no well the microsoft uh, learning uh, platform and i found that it, it was possible to uh, to use uh, machine learning without uh, this background uh, of the data science and for me it was okay i'm gonna try it <laughs> and yeah that was my my way to discover that i think that curiosity is super awesome and then we have one final question for you and what do you think are other applications outside of solar panels you would like to test with mm, as i told you maybe the wind generation uh, maybe with uh with water you know this uh, it could be an, another opportunity and uh, maybe with potatoes sounds sounds a uh, crazy way to to do energy and maybe it could be uh possible or with oil with oil uh, maybe uh some uh, combustible or gas yeah with oil vegetable oil I think all of those applications are amazing, and I'm personally hoping that you bring one of those as your talk for our next year's Global AI Student Conference. So thank you so much for joining us, Nicholas, and I think we're ready to pivot to our next speaker.